Hey guys, welcome back to another AT Customs video and today I would like to show you one of my customs built SDEX standard Gundam 00. As you can see this kit looks pretty badass as it is but it doesn't come like this out of the box because as you can see there is a lot of masking that I've done to this kit and you guys could check out one of my tutorials which is called the lazy way of masking. Uh, that is actually the easiest way that you could actually do masking on small kits like this especially kits with a lot of stickers okay so what have I actually done to this kit well um, aside from the paint job there is actually one very very minor um, I would say customs that I do to this kit it's actually the head as you can tell there is actually the head looks more sharper than usual mainly it's because I actually did some changes to the back if you guys could tell the ears are actually looks more pointy then it actually comes out of the box all right if you want to see I will actually show you what actually it looks like out of the box okay as you can see from the manual all right the yeah the back of the gum dumb head it is like this right you see there is actually these two lines which looks really really bad and you can see from the front you can actually see this line over here which uh, if you ask me it actually looks very very dumb but it does look good on this big picture here because you can you cannot really see it but all you have to do is actually use a file a metal file to just keep filing it down until the shape that you want Alright, so, but of course be careful of this part here at the top of the head and I think basically that's about it. You just keep fouling this until it is down. Alright, this is a view that you can see from the top. Um, one of my suggestions is that you can actually go online and look at the master grid of uh, Gundam 00 and see how does the double O head looks like and then follow those details. That is how actually you uh, paint this kit and there is a lot of masking have to be done as you can see just the rifle this whole thing is actually just one piece but I have to paint white here dark gray here and a chrome blue color for the camera thingy I have no idea what is this for but it does look cool um, how do I paint this basically I just paint uh, one layer of silver and then a clear blue on it all right so that's about it but as you can see here I didn't really file it down nicely but I actually cut off those packs here this is actually for the SDEX um, what is it called the weapon kind of mod this thing here yeah this ugly thing here yeah so this is actually for that and I think most of us we don't really use it so it's actually better to just chop it off file it down send it down and it looks better and the handle down here I also actually cut it down so that it looks nice as a sword right if this is long it looks very weird uh, I just cut it slightly short not all the way so that it can still hold it as a gun or a rifle I don't know what is it called but like that right it still looks cool and what else did I do um, yep just the decals double zero decal over here celestial bing decals and I think that's about it all right for SDEX standard kit um, most of the articulations are actually pretty good as you can see I could actually shift the head up this way I can open up the arms this way I can actually even put the legs up this way okay mm -hmm. okay so you can make it looks like it is skydiving as you can see yeah for an SD kit this is very very impressive you can actually put it up to the stand you can even uh, maybe tie it up to um, what do I say um, a fishing line or something you can make it hang and float it this way right with maybe two guns pointing in front 
like this shooting all right it still looks cool or you want with two blades like maybe ambushing enemy from the back kind of view it is actually very very good so i highly recommend buying this kit but of course back again the downside is the masking so do actually look through my um what is it called the tutorial to actually paint small parts especially on the sd um but that tutorial actually i paint an hg kit which is also for the double o series but it's very very old all right so hope you guys enjoy this and see you guys again next time take care guys